Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to set the custom headers we have seen right here. So now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to add the parameters, params. So how we will be adding the params? So if it is a get request means we will be using question mark and all those things, right? So how we can use these params and how we can send the params through the angular, we will see. Before going to this video, so if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Okay, coming to this video. Now you will, you, in your API or anything, any API you are using, you will be having a option, something like say, sending a query parameters. Okay, parameters. In the API, you, they will be asking query parameters. Most probably the searching cases and all those things, you will be using these query params. How we can send these query params? In the Angular, we will see. Now here, we have seen the custom headers we are sending, right? So in the same scenario, we can also send the params also. You will be having another one, something like params. Okay, params. Params, it will be having new HTTP params. So you will be taking new HTTP params. And you need to set custom uh, anything. So custom high. You can set, you can use like this custom high. Anything you can do. So this one is HTTP params, it should be imported. So you can do HTTP params, you can take this HTTP params and it should be imported from the same angular common slash HTTP. So you here you need to import it. It should be imported from the here. Now I have added custom high something like this as a parameter. Now what it will be having, uh, what it will be having is, so now if I refresh the here, here you will be able to see, here you will be able to see the post.json question mark custom is equal to high. You will be able to see that it is adding as a parameter to the url and you can also imagine that you will be also uh, you can also imagine that i can add like this also right you can be able to you can be able to ask so i am adding like this also right so you can able to so you can do like this also this is the most convenient way we will be convenient way of using this sending the parameters through the url uh, through the url in angular why because if you have a long, very long url so you, you will be having problem of concatenating. So you will be getting the dynamic data. You will be using plus and all those things. You will be having a very long URL. Instead of framing that long URL, you can write me, you can easily write this HTTP parameters and custom high. You can write, so coding wise, it looks uh, uh, very easy. Instead of having a very really long URL and uh, uh, dynamically uh, changing, manipulating that URL, it will, be, it will be very tedious task. And if you want to send more than, uh, more than one parameter. So for example, here, if you are sending, another custom so uh, another is equal to high if you want to send like this how we can send so we can send this one also instead of having uh, instead of doing this here we can we can also keep it top okay let's search params i can keep i can create a variable so i can do http params like this i can create http params i can create an object and here search params dot append i can use this append okay custom hi okay and another one also i can append so here name my name is leela so i can use this one and you need to remember that we need to assign this all data into the search param so that the formed url will be uh, the the what we can say the query parameter the query parameters will be attached to here so question mark and all those things the string it will be framing right so it will be attached to this variable and we can copy this variable and we can use this variable directly here Okay, instead of uh, writing all the logic you can write at the top logic and you can frame it here now if you try to check the output here if i go and if i try to check the output let it refresh okay so while refreshing now you will be getting here see you'll be able to see custom is equal to high and name is equal to lila so now i am able to append the multiple query, query parameters also so this is the way how we can append the query parameters to the url in the angular through the http client so we will be you can also use as a string concatenation you can use question mark analysis also you can use so this is this is the way more more dynamic behavior so most convenient way of writing if you have a dynamic variables uh, dynamic data so coming from the variables or anything so you can use it directly here so that angular will take care of appending these all the things so this is the way we are we are appending uh, we are using the query parameters in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, do support me by subscribing to my channel. And another thing I want to tell you is, 
so i am committing this all the code in the github uh, url so in the github account so if you want to get this all code you can go to the github account uh, uh, my github account and you can see the angular course and there you will be finding all this code okay so thank you